So in this video, we are going to see the instruction uh, size in microprocessor 8085. So there are basically three types of, uh, based on the size of the instruction, there are three types. One is one byte instruction, two byte instruction, and three byte instruction. So and any instruction consists of mainly two parts. One is the opcode and another one is operand. So what is meant by opcode? Opcode is nothing but consists of, it says what has to be done. So for example, addition, moving values from one register to another register or from memory location to registers, then and operations, logical operations, all those things. So any operation is said to be the opcode. Operand, the opcode acts on the some operands. It is nothing but it may be a register, it may be a memory location. So those are said to be operand. So add means what has to be add. Move means what has to be moved. So that is what operand. Whereas add, move, and they are all said to be the opcode. That is operation. What operation has to be done. So uh, as we have, as I already said, an instruction 8085. Sorry, here. Yeah. Make this strongly. Okay. Now, an instruction set in eighty eighty five. It has uh, can be classified based on its length of the instruction into three categories. One is one byte, two byte, three byte. What is one byte? It consists of eight bits. So here, say twenty eight. This will be one instruction. Okay. So this 28, let us consider this as an instruction. Uh, here, 0, 0, 1, 0. So 2 can be represented in 4 bits like this. And 8 can be represented like this. So this in hex, we write it as 28, 2, 8. Now 2 byte instruction. Here it consists of 16 bits. This is 1 byte and this is another byte. That is 2, 8 bits. So again, this can be written like this. 28 and interpreted uh, score 4 bit, 92. Then three bytes, and it consists of 24 bits. Here one eight bit, here another eight bit, here another bit. So three bytes. So this can be again represented like this. Now, this one byte instruction, this will be instruction. You will see what is instructions or not. So here this record, since it is a one byte, it needs only one memory location. Because in our 8085, each uh, if you imagine this to be a page, let us consider this is a memory. In memory, we consider each line. Okay, so each line consists of uh, 8 bit of data. You can store 8 bit of data in one line. Like this 8 bit, 8 bit, 8 bit, like that only you can store. Whereas the address of each individual line can be done by 16 bit. That is what we were, we, we so far we are seeing in our microprocessor architecture that address lines are 16 bit. That is why the address bit are 16 bit because the memory is a 16, memory can be addressed with 16 bits of information. So each individual line can be addressed with 16 bits. So that is why we have 2 power 16 which is equal to 60 roughly 64k of k memory. The 8085 microprocessor has 64k of memory. The later memory, the later microprocessor has more memory. So based on that, the address lines also may be vary, and data bit storage may also vary. For here, basic microprocessor we are studying, so only 8 bit. But nowadays it has 124 bits also it can store. But let us not bother all those things. We are going to concentrate on this. So because this is the basic, if you know this, you you will be able to understand that. Latest also. So here, uh, let us imagine this is the memory location. Memory, it, it, memory is a bigger, but I am showing only a small portion of the memory. So in 2020, let us consider we are storing 28 here. So it occupies only one memory. Now this is a two byte instruction. Okay. So so what it needs? It needs two memory location because only eight bit you can store in one line. So this occupies two memory location. Whereas a 3 byte, it occupies 3 because this is 1 8 bit, 8 bit and 8 bit. So you have to store it like that. 
So this is the meaning of 1 by 2 by 10, 3 by 2 section. Now, we will see what is 1 by 2 by 10, 3 by 2 section in detail. So 1 by 10 section. So 1 by 10 section, the opcode and the operand of an instruction are represented in 1 byte. So in a 8 bit itself, both the opcode and the operand will be present. That is the meaning of this. So how it can be done? Well, the manufacturer, the manufacturer, what they do is, they know how many registers in their microprocessor. So based on that only the instructions will be built and the memory location. So what happens when they write, when they uh, design the instruction set for their own microprocessor, they consider all the registers and uh, some instructions, like those instructions which operate only on the registers, internal registers, they will be a single byte because they know fixedly that this will be the instruction. So for example, move the value of accumulated to B. Okay, so this can be, uh, like this, they can build more instructions, like move B comma C, move B comma D, move B comma E, and so on. So what are all the registers? For that, they can write that, they can build the instruction uh, exclusively. So this will take carry only one byte, because this is fixed. Nobody can change it. If they want to move the value from accumulated to B, they have to adopt only they have to carry out only this hex code, not any other hex code they can do. So this type of instruction, they have the fixed hex code. So that is why they are said to be the one byte. Because here, yeah, see, if you see this, move is the up code, whereas B and A are the operands. So move is the up code, operation. What operation? Moving of data from the register A, to register B, you have to read it from right to left, not from B to A. So here you have to read it like that. So that is how it works. So in 8085, how you have to read that any move and all moving off from the right to left registers. So here accumulated to B. So this is the opcode, move is the opcode, and the operand is B comma A. This can be represented with this single byte that is 47 H and it has the binary equivalent of this. So what is the meaning of that? Move the value of accumulated to B. So this occupies only single byte and both the opcode and the operand are in the same byte that is in 47 H hex code itself both the opcode and operand are present. So how much memory it occupies? Only a single location. So uh, let us imagine we store it in 200247H. Now let us consider another example. Add B. So this is another instruction. There are so many add, add B, add C, add D, and so on. So the implied another register is accumulated. So what is the meaning of this? Add the value of content of B with the content of accumulator and store the result in accumulator. That is the meaning of this. So what happens, like this, there are other statements also, as I said, add B, add C. If I give add C, which means add the content of C with accumulator. So these are all fixed. You, they have returned add B, add C. For that, they have given exclusive code. You have to use only this. If you use ATH, it means you are adding the value of B to accumulator. That is the meaning. So uh, this is a single byte. So it occupies only one memory location. Like that, we have CMA. At least here you have two operand. Here also two operand, but one operand is implied. Okay, it is not explicitly mentioned. It is that the value of B is added with the accumulator. So accumulator in B is also there here, but it is not explicitly said. Then CMA. What is CMA? Complement the value of accumulator. That is, if there is one, that will be converted into zero. The zero is converted into one. So every bit in the accumulator is inverted. That is the meaning of that. Here also explicitly it is the uh, operand is not given. Imply implicitly accumulator will be involved. So it is nothing but it is complementing the accumulator only. The complement of B registers and all not that. 
If you want to complement the register B, then that particular B register value has to be moved to the accumulator and you have to issue CMA. So this is also fixed. You have this uh, equivalent hex code. So this also occupies only a single uh, location, single location in your memory. Now let us go to the next one, two byte. Here, the first byte will be the opcode and second byte will be the operand. Okay, so here, if you say the MBIA, let us consider this uh, instruction, MBIA, that is meaning is move immediate accumulator, what? The data, that is data given here. So this is fixed. We have other instructions like MBIA, MBIB, MBIC, so those registers are fixed. Say for example, some six register means six MBA are there. MBAA, MBAB, MBAC, MBAD, E, then H and L. So all these are available. So for that fixed hex code is there. Say for example, for MBAA, it is nothing but 3E. For MBAB, it will be different and so on. So this is fixed. Like how we have seen here, add B, add C, add B means ADH, add C means some other hex code and so on. It is, they are all fixed. Like that, MBAA, MBAB, they are all fixed. And we have the equivalent hex code for this MBAA alone is 3E. Then this is the data which can be provided by the user. This allows the user to give their own data. Here we can give 32, 80, anything. Whatever the user wants to input, they can give. But this is fixed. So for this, we have the hex code this. And whatever the user input is given, for that we write the equivalent hex code. That is 32 is a hex code. So the equivalent binary code we, is this. So this can be represented as 8 bit and this can be represented as 8 bit. So together we have 16 bit. So if it is 16 bit, we cannot store it in a single location because single one location will can have only 8 bit. It can store only 8 bit. So what we do is 3E and 32, how it can be stored? So imagine you are storing it in 2002. So here 3E and in the next number location we store 32. So if it has to be, the instruction has to be executed, uh, two times the memory has to be read it. First for 3, the next for 32. Now let us take another example, MBAB F2. As I said, MBAA has 3, like that MBAB has 06 as the equivalent hex code. Then F2 is the user data. So here uh, you have to store it like that. Let us imagine you are storing it to 0, 10, 1, 0, so 0, 06 and then you have to likewise you store the data in the function so it is a two byte next is three bytes three bytes means it occupies three memory location that is 64, 24 bit so let us consider this uh, instruction where low meaning is load the accumulator with the content of memory location 2010 normally a three byte instruction will have its operand as memory location okay so memory location is it consists of 16 bit that is why this is a three byte instruction so most of the uh, memory location referred uh, thing will uh, instructions will be will consist of a three byte instruction but exceptions are that that we will see later here lda the opcode is lda and the operand is this okay so the equivalent of lda is 3a and 2010. First, lower order bit is represented, then the higher order bit will be written. So, like this only you have to write in memory location also. So, for example, 200, let us say 2002, we store the value 3A. Then the next memory location you have to store only the lower order. That is, this this will be written first and then the next. So, while writing your program uh, for microprocessor, when you are going to execute in a VA microsystem, or whether you are going to use a uh, software for use for writing the coding, you have to write in memory location like this only. Any memory location reference, first you have to write the lower order bit and then the higher order bit. This is the rule. So the equivalent binary code of this is 3A for this and 10 here is given and 20 is given. So like this, you have to store it in the memory. So a three byte instruction requires three memory locations. 
Now the next we will see is timing diagram. Let us see in the next video.